What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 50 minute legs and abs hit workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get to it. What's up guys? I'm so excited that you're here for our 50 minute legs and abs hit workout. We're gonna be working in 30 second increments. So working for 30, resting or transitioning in 15 second increments, okay? Gonna grab your dumbbells today. I'm using 15s, 20s, and 30s. Not gonna be using 40s today because we are working in shorter increments, so I want the intensity high. I want a lot more reps in here. Okay, so challenge yourself as always. Make sure also you have water and a sweat towel, and we're gonna jump right into the warm up. Make sure before you head out today, you check out the Sydney Squad so we can start your nutrition, education, your accountability, and keep you on track heading into the summer, okay? We have less than a month until officially summer here in the US. So if you're ready to get started, make some changes, see some results finally, check out the Sydney Squad and I can help you get started, okay? First of all, let's start with big backwards arm swings in three, two, one, let's go. Bring your hands together in the front and then open them back up. Great job. And let's switch directions, other way. Be holding some heavy dumbbells today. We'll be doing abs as well, so on your arms, moving your arms. So I always wanna warm up the entire body because in my workouts, I like to make sure we use as many muscles as possible. Okay, cross your arm over and over. Let your hips rotate a little bit. There you go. Good, breathe. Exhale. That's it. Three, two, one. Let's go wide, squat, and stand. Okay, open your feet out a little bit. So let your knees open, your hips open. It takes you a second to get warmed up, that's okay. That's why we're doing the warm up, so you can really get into the ranges of motion that you need to sink into. Let's go three more. There's one, keep your knees out, two, and three, good. Hinge your hips back. Let's reach and drive. Reach, drive, straight legs, okay? Good, good. Anyone else feeling a little sore in the back of their legs this week? Woo. Three, two, and one. Great job. Let's kick it back to the back of your mat. Step forward and back out. Forward lunges. Just body weight. Great job. Work on sinking down, going out heel and then toe. Okay, so heel, toe. So you can really sink into that front heel. One more each leg. Good, and now stay out there in that front lunge. I want you to place your hands down here. Okay, sink your hip up and down. We'll stretch out the hip flexors a little bit. Oh yeah. Three more. Three, two, and one. Raise your hips up and switch legs. Bring the other leg out front. Drop it down, here we go. Good, wanna get you feeling good before we start. That's it. Seven, six, five, three, two, one. And take both legs back, walk your hands back in. Ooh, slowly roll it up. All right, let's go with some jumping jacks. Open, close. To modify, touch and touch. Get the heart rate up, get your core temperature warm. Good job, nine, eight. Good job, so we're working in 30 second increments today. Resting for 15, three rounds per exercise, okay? Two, one, butt kicks, here we go. Let's go for eight, seven, Six, three, two, 
one, and let's grab some dumbbells and go ahead and get started. You're gonna throw your dumbbells up at your chest, keeping your left leg out front. Step back, reverse lunge, and stand. Ready? Two, one, let's go. 30 seconds, down and up. Just your left leg out front. I find this front rack helps us keep our chest up. Good job, give me 10 more seconds here. Good, five, four, two, one, and rest for 15. Now I want you to slide your dumbbells down so that your handles are at the top of your hands. Throw them right on the back of your shoulders, okay? Nice wide stance, you're gonna go squats. Okay, two, one, let's go. Sit, stand. Good. 30 seconds right here. You've got 15 to go. Sit down and push equally out of both legs. There you go, seven, and rest. Okay, drop your dumbbells down. Last one, you're gonna keep your right leg up front. Kick the left leg back, and we're just gonna drop straight down into your lunge, okay? So you're gonna tap your knee on the ground if you can, come right back up, okay? Let's go. So first round, we were doing left leg reverse lunges. This time, we're just doing split stance lunges with the other leg out front. Good job. I know this hit workout is gonna to be tough, but we've gotta breathe, number one. Main focus is your breath, okay? Two, one, and rest. All right, we're back to the top. 15 seconds, we're going for that left leg, out front, reverse lunge, back and up, okay? Left leg here, four, three, dumbbells up. And let's go. So we've got three rounds of those three moves, okay? There we go, dig that heel into the floor, keep the knee out. Almost there, 10, nine. Come on, three, two, one. Rest and back to the middle. Sliding those dumbbells down in your hands. Throw them right on the back of your shoulders so there will be a little slanted lean with your upper body. Squats in three, two, one. Let's go. Keep the elbows up, keep the chest up. Keep your core tight as well. Big deep breath in before you go down. Come on, eight, six, five, three, two, one, rest. Drop the dumbbells down, right leg stays up top. Split it back with your left leg. Whew. Doing okay? Five, four, let's sink it straight down. Big stance between your legs. Let's go, down and up. That's it, push into that right heel. You can do it. Beautiful, you got 10 seconds. rest and we're going one more time through those three guys and then we're gonna hit the abs okay ten seconds okay dumbbells up left leg stays up top right leg goes back ready let's go reverse lunge and stand keep your knee out towards your pinky toe Come on, right there. 
13, 12, 11. I'm with you, let's go. Beautiful, two, one, rest. Back to our squats. Dumbbells right on the back of your shoulders here. This helps you keep your chest up. Okay, so feet are a little bit wider than normal. Three, two, squat it down, one. Let's go. Notice the first movement is hips go back. So then I can sit in my heels. Knees never go forward. Great job, come on, seven, six, two, one, rest, good. Keep that right leg right up top. We're kicking it back, split stance here. Make sure you have plenty of room, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Down and up. Great work. Set it down, push it up. Come on. 12, 11, 6, 5. Get ready to lay it down for some abs. And 3, 2, 1, rest. Beautiful job. We're laying back on our back. Our first move is just toe touches. Okay? So grab a dumbbell if you would like. Legs are up in the air. Crunching right here. Two, one. All right, let's go. Up, down. That's it. 30 seconds right here. Exhale, lower, lower. Good job. 10 more seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven. Good job, you've got four. Three, two, one. Move that dumbbell out of the way. Your next move is leg raises. Starting with your feet right up over your hip. You're gonna go down with two legs. If you need to modify, go down with one leg and switch. Okay, two, one, let's go. Keep that lower back driving down towards the floor. Seven, six, four, three, two, one. Stay right here with your legs right over your hips. I want you to bend your knees, taking your hands right behind your ears. Cross over, down, over, down. Bicycle crunch, okay? So keep your knees away from your chest. Two, one, go up and over, down, over, down. You've got your hands to support your head. Don't yank your neck. Fifteen, fourteen, great job. Come up and then over. Beautiful. Three, two, one, rest. And you're back up to your toe touches. Legs are right over top of your hips. Dumbbell up there if you want to. Feel better with just body weight right now, that's okay. All right, we're going to the toes in three, two, big inhale, exhale, reach. Let's go. Round number two, we've got three rounds total. So proud of you for working so hard. Keep it up. Come on, 10, nine, Three, two, one, rest. Move that dumbbell out of the way. We're back to leg raises. If you wanna make these a little tougher, you can extend your hands up overhead and go down and up, okay? Only if you can control those hips and that lower back. Two, one, let's go. 
Sometimes I like to crunch up and look down towards my thighs. Okay, you can see if that helps you out as well. Good work, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Legs right back over your hips. Let's bend the knees. Support your hands behind your head. Woo, you're doing all right. Finishing round two right here. Are you ready? Bicycle crunches over. Let's go right arm to left leg. Two, one. Let's go. Over, down. So we've got a rotational exercise here. We've got a top down exercise with the toe touches. And then we've got a bottom up exercise with the leg raises. So we're trying to hit the abs in all different directions here. Five, four, two, one, rest. Woo, last round of all three. Are you ready? All right, let's take our upper body up towards our toes. Exhale as you lift in four, three. Big deep breath. Let's go. Up and down. You're doing great. If you're not using a dumbbell, you can also support your neck here. Crunch up, chin towards your knees. Okay, 10, nine. Almost there, two, one, rest. Dumbbell down, let's go, leg raises. Hands under your butt if you want. Seven seconds, two legs or one leg, either way. Keep that belly flat. Three, two, one, here we go. Breathe in, lower, exhale, lift. Almost there, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. And bicycle crunches, bend your legs right over your hips. Whew. Almost there, and then we're moving back to some legs, okay? Here we go, knees up, 90 degrees. Three, two, one, let's go. Crunch up and over. Nice job, keep working it. 15 seconds, ready? Let's go, 15, 14. 10, nine, eight. Three, two, one, and rest. And we're going back up for right leg reverse lunges, okay? So let's plant the right leg down and we're stepping backwards with the left. Okay, dumbbells up top. Two, one, ready? Let's go. Right leg stays up front, left leg moves. Good job, dig that heel down. We're moving, right? Not a lot of rest today. We're gonna fit as much work in as we can. Good job, 10 seconds. Five, four, two, one, rest. Beautiful job. We're hanging right here at the front with a wide squat, okay? Plie style, so toes are out, dumbbells are here, you can rest them right on your arms. Squat and stand. Two, one, ready? Let's go. Front squat, front plie squat. Try to come almost all the way up, but not quite. Okay, so you see how my legs are still a little bit here. Ten, nine, eight, four, three, two, one. Rest. Drop those dumbbells down. 
Left leg stays up front now. So we're kind of doing the reverse of what we did first circuit, only we're switching up that squat a little in the middle. Okay, so left leg up top. Three, two, one. Let's go drop and sand. Big push in both feet. Perfect. Sit and stand. 12, 11, 7, 6, come on, good job. 3, 2, 1, rest. Woo! Okay, round number two. Back to the right leg up top, reverse lunges. You doing okay? There we go, five seconds. Grab those dumbbells, front rack position. Right leg stays, left leg goes back. Let's go. Focus here on your midline, right on your belly button. Okay, you get off balance, stay right between your belly button. Good job. Seven, six, come on, we're in it together. Let's do it. Push, two, one, rest. Woo. Back to that plie squat. So again, feet are wide, toes are about 45 degrees out, okay? Dumbbells are right here. Let's get the core involved here. Two, one, let's go. Sit almost all the way and back down. Up and down. Keep your chest tall. That's what this front rack position helps you do. Abs are tight, back is flat. 15. Good, nine, eight, seven. Come on, knees out. Three, two, one. Beautiful, left leg up top. Split it open with the right leg back. Dumbbells are down by your side. Doing all right? I know, you're doing great. I know this is tough. We got it. Ready? Two, one, let's go. We're in it together. Sit and push. Good. Only 30 seconds. You can do this. Good work. All right, 10 seconds. Let's go. Push. Three, two, one, rest. And we've got one more round of those three. Right leg up top. All right. Whew. Let's do it. <laughs> three, two, right leg stays up top, left leg goes back. Let's go. Last round of these three. And then you won't see these moves anymore today. Find a spot and focus on it in front of you or out in front of your toes. Sit, push. Seven seconds, come on. Three, two, one, rest. Back into the middle, wide plie stance. Whew. I'll let my hands rest and arms. There we go, four, Three, nice and wide. Ready, let's sit. Down and up. Perfect, come on, sit and stand. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. Good, six, five. Woo, almost done with the circuit. Two, one, rest. And very last one, keep the left leg up top. We're about to go back to the abs. Laying down, okay? <laughs> Seven seconds, let's go back. <sighs> Tight core, sink it down in three, two, one. Last 30 of this circuit, let's go. Sit and push. Beautiful. You can move your dumbbells out of the way for these next 
set of abs. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job, lay it back down on your back. We're going for reverse crunches here, okay? I want you to stay crunched up here, tap heels, and then knees to elbow, okay? Ready, two, one, let's go. Crunch up, touch, keep your feet open so that you can make sure you're not swinging one leg up at a time. They come together, back down. Good. All right, 10 more seconds here. Let's go. Touch, down, touch, down. Five, three, two, one, rest. Woo, stay right here. We're gonna do this same move two more times, okay? We'll really focus on a burnout in this three exercise circuit here. Okay, round number two, same thing. Crunch it up, two, one, let's go. Crunch, down. Really want you to master this move here. Control on the way down as well. Fourteen, thirteen. That's it. Come on, we can do it. Nine, eight, seven. Three, two, one. Stay right here for one more round of that exact exercise, and then we're gonna switch it up, okay? There you go, big deep breath. Three, two, crunch it up, one, let's go. Last round of this one. Come on. Pull that belly button up towards your chest. Ten more seconds, come on. Four, three, two, one. Keep your right leg planted on the floor, and I want you to extend that left leg, okay? We're crunching into the left and opening it back up. So both elbows go towards your left knee, okay? Three, two, one. Crunch left, open it out. Great job, keep that lower back flat. Crunch it in. Meet right over top of your belly button, okay? 10, nine. Perfect, four, three, two, one. Rest, and now switch legs. So place that left leg on the floor, right leg goes out, okay? Whew. And then round number three, we'll alternate, okay? Here we go, four, right leg out, three, two, one, crunch it in, let's go. Crunch, open, crunch, open. Perfect, open. And if you feel your hip popping a little bit, take your toe and angle it outwards a little bit. See if that helps any. Helps for me sometimes. That's it, four, two, one, rest. All right, now we're gonna keep both legs up, 45 degrees out, crunch, switch, crunch, switch, okay? Here we go, five seconds. To modify, just take them a little bit higher, okay? Two, one, let's go, crunch, open, crunch, Keep that back flat. Make it easier, keep your knees up high. Just like this. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. You've got knees open, sit up, okay? So knees are open, you're gonna come through, tap your heels, okay? Heels are together right here. 
two, one, knees up and heels touch. Let's go. Tap, open, tap, open. Beautiful. 10 seconds. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 3, 2, 1, rest. Oh, yeah. That's a burner, right? Oh. Whew. So after this one, three rounds here, we've got a whole leg circuit, three exercises, and then a whole ab circuit. And we've made it. That's how close we are to being done. Okay, round two. Let's go. Up, down, up, down. Come on, 14, 13. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. One more round through there. I'm gonna grab some water. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last round of these guys. And then I'll give you 30 seconds to get up. I'll show you the next move, okay? Three, two, let's go. Touch, open. Come on, we got it. Ten seconds. That's it. Four, three, two, one. Rest. And you've got 30 seconds rest here. Whew. All right, move those dumbbells out of the way. I'm going to grab my heavier dumbbells. Okay. And we're going to go sumo squats. So they're hanging down in front on this one. Wide stance, toes are still pointed forward. Okay. You're gonna come here, pick your dumbbells up. As you pull them up, you can flatten them out. Okay, and then sit back down with them in the middle, flatten them out, just so you have room. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go, sit down, flatten. You don't have to touch the floor, just sit your butt down. Good job, 10 seconds. Beautiful. Five, four, two, one, rest. 15 seconds rest. You're gonna bring your feet in together for this one. Close deadlift. Okay, so you're sitting down. Here, stand. Okay, I'm gonna give my hands a little break. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Keep your back flat and your abs tight. Great job. Seven seconds. Come on, sit, push. Two, one, rest. And let's move those dumbbells out of the way. Three point squat steps. So we're gonna start together. Okay, we're gonna go here. Wider, wider, middle. Wider, wider, middle. Ready? Let's go. Open, open, close. There you go. I want you to sit lower each time you go out. That's it. Seven, six, Three, two, one, rest. Woo. Sumo squats. We're back to the sumo, round number two. You ready? Here we go. Five, four, two, one, let's go. Toes are pointed forward. And opening up, keeping those shoulder blades back and down. So your upper back isn't arching. 
Lower back isn't rounding, right? We've got 10 seconds here. That's it, seven, six, come on. Three, two, one, rest. All right, dumbbells down, let's go. Deadlifts, feet are just about straight down from your hips here, okay? We're making it, we're almost there. Round number two, are you ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Sit it down and up. Back is flat. Again, shoulder blades are back and down. They're not rounding. Dig the heels down. Almost there, 10 seconds. Five, four, come on, three, two, one, rest. Whew, three point squat hops. That's it, last part of round number two. Bring the feet together, jumping out, jumping out again. Three, two, one, right here. Go lower, lower, up. Lower, lower, up. Up, drop, together. Drop, drop, together. See how fast you can get out of that wide stance? Good, make sure there's three levels here. Down, down, up. Five seconds, Woo! Three, two, one, rest. One more time, are you ready? One last time through sumo squats here. All right, let's go in five. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, sit, 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 push. Ten more seconds, you can do it. Three, two, one, rest. And bring your feet in. Dumbbells are wide. Can you step it up a little bit on this one? Bump up to your heaviest weight if you haven't yet. Last round of deadlifts right here. Three, two, let's go. Shoulder blades back and down. Belly is tight, don't round your back. Come on, push into the floor. 10 seconds. Four, three, one more, two, one. Rest and move those dumbbells out of the way. Three point squat hops. Make sure there's three levels again, okay? Here, lower, lowest. Woo, three, two, one. Last round, let's go. Down, down. Down, down. Down, down. Down, down. To modify. Step lower, step lower. Step lower, step lower. Okay? Down, down. 10 seconds. Keep those feet moving. Five, three, two, one, and rest. All right, come on down to the floor. We're gonna go for a plank circuit here, okay? Whew. Grab some water, I'll give you about 15 more seconds. All right, two levels of the plank here. First level, we're going down here in the middle. If you need to modify, come up onto your hands right here, okay? 30 seconds, ready? Let's go. Hold right here in the middle. Squeeze the quads and the glutes in the belly button. Fifteen seconds. Come on. This plank circuit is the last thing you mentally have to get through today. And I know you can do it. I know we can do it together. Four, three, two, 
One, and rest. Drop it over to the right elbow, to the left elbow, one of the elbows. Okay? Level one, you can stack your knees up here. Okay, if you can go up on your toes, let's do that. Three, two, one, right here. If you wanna step this up even more, come up onto your hand on the bottom, just like this, okay? Arms might be shaking, so take that into account. Hips have to be open, chest has to be open. There you go. 10 seconds. Are you breathing okay? Good. Three, two, one, rest. All right, flipping it to the other side. Right or left, whichever one you did not just do. <sighs> Doing all right? Okay, side plank. So you're here on your knees, step it up. You're on your toes, to step it up even more. Hands and toes, let's go. 30 seconds. Great work, 15 seconds. Chest and hips wide open. They're facing forward, make sure you're not folded over. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're back to the middle. Whew. Now, if you wanna step it up, you can always throw a dumbbell on your lower back, okay? That's an option. We've got four, three, Two, round two, let's go. Great job, great job, I'm here with you. Okay, last 15 seconds. Come on, come on, nine, eight, stay right here until I say down. And down, good job. Flipping it over, one side. I'll let you pick the side. <laughs> on your elbow, on your knees, on your toes, you pick the difficulty. Three, two, one, let's go. And often what I do, if you see my shoes, I like to put my one foot kind of flat on the ground and then place the other one sole against the sole. So I've got something to kind of push off of. So everything is nice and long and lean, okay? Got about 10 seconds. Five, four, you're doing great. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, other side. Now last round, I'll challenge you to step it up a level from this round, okay? We've only got one more round, so. I want you to think about how to step it up after this side. Two, one, let's go. Beautiful job, you've got 10. That's it. All right, last 15 seconds right here. 15, 14, 13, open hips, open chest. If you're on your hand, make sure your shoulder is right over the palm of your hand. Five, come on, four. Three, two, one, beautiful job. Now, when I was saying step it up, if you wanna try a dumbbell on your lower back, you have to be sure that you're not gonna let your lower back sag, okay? Pull it in, drop to the elbows. Three, two, one, ready? Here we go. Hold right here. It's okay if you shake, that's totally fine. 15 seconds, let that sweat fall, let's go. Pull up, pull the belly button to your dumbbell. Or pull your belly button to the ceiling. That's it, seven, six, five. Come on, hold tight, you can do it. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, if you got a dumbbell on, lower it, swing it off to the side. I'm gonna try and hold it right here on this side as well. Okay, and by the way, if you try it and you need to drop it halfway, that's okay. Here we go, two, one, let's go. Try to think just about your abs. I know your arm might be shaking right now. It's okay. 
Hold tight. 14, 13, 12. I try to keep it down here so I'm not putting all the pressure on my arm. It's all in the abs. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Woo. Swing it to the other side. Come on, here we go. 30 seconds right here. So if I were to hold it here, all the pressure would just kind of be right over my hands, right? So I'm gonna put it right here. Two, one, let's go. Beautiful job. Breathe with me here. All right, 15 seconds. Hold tight, let's go. 14, 13, 12. Hip up, chest open, hips open. We've got six, five, three, two, one, rest. Woo! All right, one more minute of just a solid plank here. Okay, one minute left and that is it. Okay, so let's start up top here. We're gonna go two, one, let's go. Just a minute plank right here. I'm gonna have you switch around during this minute, so just stay here for about five more seconds, okay? Two, one, drop to your elbows. Now push up and back. Up, back, up, back. Here we go, let's burn it out. Up and back. Three, two, one. Stack your right heel on your left heel, or your right toe on your left heel. Right here and stay. Beautiful job. We're gonna switch in three, two, one. Switch feet, let's go. This is it. Last nine seconds and you're done with your workout. Seven, six, five. Come on, three, two, one. And drop your butt down onto your calves. Reach your hands out forward. <sighs> Let's cool it down before you head out today. If you don't have time for the cool down, Make sure you at least subscribe to the channel so I can shoot you a workout tomorrow and like the video if you finished it, okay? If you're at this point, you finished the workout, you deserve to click that thumbs up and give it a thumbs up. <sighs> All right, come on up onto your hands and knees and I want you to wiggle your hips side to side, throwing your knees close together. There you go, let that lower back just kind of release. All right, I want you to tuck your chin down, arch your back up and sit, and then reverse that. Arch your back up and roll forward. Tuck your chin, roll your back up, and lift your spine up, roll forward. Let's just kind of calm that back down. One more, roll it back, and come back into tabletop position. Tuck your toes down and lift your hips up. Walk your hands back towards your toes. Walk, walk, walk. Aww. Hang out right here for a second. I know this feels good. I think this Monday's workout, or no wait, Tuesday's workout and today's workout. Have my legs feeling strong. I love seeing my legs get stronger. Since September I've only been solely focused on how do I even out both sides of my legs, how do I get muscle back in my legs. Roll it up one vertebrae at a time. So they've always been kind of my strongest part of my body and then, you know, things happen. Where the shooting happened, I had to kind of switch my focus a little bit to recovery and now I'm back to that point where I can regain strength. So to anyone who's going through an injury, anyone that has gone through an injury, anyone that hopefully will not, but if you do go, with, go through an injury in the future, I gotta tell you, it's all about giving yourself grace. Shoot your other hip out to the other side. Okay, you're not going to like it, or you're not going to increase your chances of recovering faster by jumping back in too fast. And also, talking to yourself in a graceful way. Okay, that applies to coming back from an injury and just to life. Okay, you've gotta realize you're the one getting yourself through this journey, so talk to yourself in that way, in a way that you would talk someone else through the journey that Maybe it's tough, maybe it doesn't come easy. Okay, talk to yourself with grace and appreciation. 
Okay, I appreciate that my body got through the injury that it did and through the shooting that it did. And I appreciate that my body is fighting back to get stronger. Injury or not, we're all doing that every day. We're fighting to get stronger, to stay balanced. As you can see, this side is still not very balanced and I'm working on it. But I can't just hate myself because I'm not where I think I should be. Okay, none of us can. Because like I was telling uh, one, of, uh, one of our Sydney Squad members the other day, this journey is forever. You're never going to get to a point where you have arrived and you're finished with your journey and you're just gonna stay there forever. It's a continual journey, it will always be a journey and that's the beauty of it, is that you always get a chance to keep working on it. Okay, switch one last time. Okay, so don't view this as um, 12 weeks and you're done or four weeks and you've made it or you get to squat this weight and you're finished. It will be a continual journey and an everlasting journey. The common denominator is the person that's getting you through it, yourself. The person that you're rocking through this journey with, okay? Big deep breath in and out. So make sure you talk to yourself in a positive, grateful way, okay? Don't hate the person that's getting you through the journey. Don't think, oh, I'm not here so I'm failing or I'm not getting it right right now so I'm just gonna give up and I'm gonna quit. You gotta give yourself grace and you've gotta appreciate what you can do right now, what you have learned so far, what you've done so far, the progress that you've already seen and also appreciate the opportunity to continue the journey, okay? It's not a frustrating thing where you're forever on a journey, it's an opportunity to forever be improving and to forever be getting stronger and a better version of yourself. And I think fitness so, so closely intertwines with who we are as people and the characteristics that we build throughout workouts are the characteristics that I want you to take and apply to yourself as a person, okay? So speak to yourself with grace and appreciation and appreciate the opportunity to be on this journey and day by day getting better, okay? Make sure you comment below, I crushed it if you finished this workout and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel so together we can keep growing and also make sure you turn on that bell notification. I'll shoot you an alert when your workout is posted tomorrow. Love you guys, have a great day, appreciate yourself.